Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign and I'm hoping that you are as excited as I am to test out all of the new toys. We got the A-Team fighting against the last of the alien rulers, whoever we're uh, finding there is going to be the last one uh, that we are killing. We got Sona, Grell, DDG, Cannon and Hawkbite and instead of Hawkbite's companion we are taking Shadow with us which will be a great opportunity uh, to maybe kill the ruler right away without um, taking too much time. The, the Banish ability is just too good, I cannot not take it. Hawkbite with so many hit points just so much defense that's going to be great we have the dark matter grenade here which i want to give a try it says it's completely disorienting them and uh, putting uh, putting sonic rippling on them and we also have the brain cords uh, which hopefully will turn out to be a good investment as you can see we're still one of the suits short so that will come soon and i wonder if we should just do the following uh make armor available yes and museum battle suit that looks like a good idea to me Brute gauntlet i want to test that one out as well and holy shit, we have a really really good team together two of the battle suits themselves could potentially clear out that entire mission but yeah, after a literal month of playing through the game, we are at the point where finally I feel we have the upper hand in completely imbalanced items. But yeah, that's the nature of researching everything, I suppose. Very nice, we are landing. Oh yeah. Hawkbite gets some focus, 28 hit points and 100% dodge. Mwah, chef kiss. Where's the high ground? What is that treachery? No high ground? Well, we got some high ground over here. I am on the move. Shadow begins to move up. And it seems like we do have quite a few enemies there. Hmm, how about... Standing here, which is very unlikely that anyone is... Uh, that any of the enemies is going to move directly onto this uh, field. So that's the high ground I was looking for. More high ground here and some more high ground there okay cool well tell you what dilly Running. moves over to the bit of high ground that is available we are slower with emission battle suits but that should not deter us from trying to reach our target so it is decided Hawkbite has has a get to the chopper from his from uh, his PCS. Oh, okay. Well, Tangpo puts out uh, puts an alley up to a higher elevation or away from advancing enemies. Okay, that plus the jetpack is a neat little combo. Time to motor. And we got good old Nikolai here, who is a standard, normal, everyday XCOM uh, Resistance Haven member. And he just goes in together with the A-Team. Okay, what are our abilities here? They follow you. Mentaling with the highest still connected DNA. Call a random chrysalid to aid you. Okay. Dive bomb. Okay. Calling of a chrysalid should... I don't know if it is... 
I don't know if it is breaking our concealment. We're going to find that out in a second. Answer to whether or not it reveals has just been given. Let's take it. In the meantime, time to get that biomech trooper going. Forty percent. Ah, barely did not make it. Look, I mean, what we could do is we could just go in here, take a couple of hits and rush out. Sounds like a reasonable plan for me. The question is, does it also sound like a reasonable plan for XCOM? What is this network? Oh, that was okay. Yeah, we're going to do that next turn. Did he moves over and we're kill zoning. No, no. As you order, come Shadow moves on. up. And it's a Viper Prince. Disappointing, disappointing. I think the hogbite pull technique is a better chance for us. <clears throat> Good, hogbite charges in. Nice little hit. <clears throat> now everybody will get an a nice blade storm and we're also having kill zone ready to rumble oh look at you more snacks a great chance to remote start that here and I would want to take that chance all right we got momentum available and we can move out. Not sure why we still have the flamethrower in here. That's a really bad option. But okay, it is what it is. 
move to here and then start to kill the trooper. I think that's the play here. Could even move to here. I think that's the right play. Jetpack. Into rockets. This explodes that thing. I have a prince down to 61, which is okay. Not a problem with that. <laughs> the amount of damage. All right, well. Nikolai moves up, half cover. And gets a kill. Good job, Nikolai. Well done. Well, I could uh, jump all the way up here and start just laying absolute carnage. Do we want to do that? We I think we're rather feeling like giving Dilly the time of the day here. That's an easy kill. It's dead. It has to be dead. That's another easy kill. Oh boy, Dilly is on it yet again. I want to see what that Haywire command does. Map Y debuff. Minus 4 mobility. Oh, it's only for 2 turns. Minus 15 defense. Hmm. Great, but the 2 turns are potentially a, a turn off for me. Still wanted to use it once at least. Positioning. Euler is ready for whatever is needed. And let's just get the biomech down. God damn it, our team is strong. Parrying. Another bio faceless. Okay, cool. Well, kill zone is still going. No, 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 no. Okay, at least they have not discovered us. 
I was about to become really annoyed. Okay, we can okay, we can dive bomb just like that. Which seems to be like a movement. Deals damage, but it's also perfect uh, for a repositioning. Oh my gosh, guys. Uh, I'm speechless about the level of just utter destruction that we're laying down. It is no longer just like one way of killing enemies. There are dozens of ways of achieving the same goal. And it's unsettling just how much damage everybody is doing. Hogbite picks up the loot. We'll get full focus now. Hogbite is just immune to everything. Attack with Ripper or use it as living explosives. Okay, so the... Okay. Moving as ordered. Shadow moves up. Couple of losses uh, there. Gunning with uh, sonar. No need to ask twice. Found a super heavy turret. What are we going to do with that? Let's see. How about we're destroying it? Shoots just. Casually across the map. Can't pull anyone uh, up here. That is unfortunate. But we can kill the turret. Implacable, untouchable. Allows us to move to here. Nikolai is just looking at everybody doing these manga-like moves where, where we're completely tuning out and he's the only normal guy. He signed for, uh, up for this because he wanted to defend Earth and he was drafted into a superhuman squad. Good. Chrysalids. I love chrysalids when they are on our side.
Yeah, yeah. Come on. Go to sonar. Oh boy, Nikolai is even getting attacked by undeads with uh, with acid abilities. I just feel for the guy. Once everybody else is just chilling within their ultra heavy armor. He's the one who came with normal clothing. Okay. More enemies it is. Or in other words, all right, you have chosen death. That's okay for me. Jetpack. Okay, so we're moving over. Time to clear out some of uh, these enemies. And whilst we're doing it, just casually. Storm cannon and set these guys up. Okay, cool. Now, time to burst. There you go. They, they are so strong. Every single one of, uh, of them is unbelievably powerful. Plenty of reloads ready. Big deal. All right, now to show you what uh, we've just received saturation fire, right? Yeah. So how about we're just saturation firing these guys? Alternatively, I could not care and just use the minigun. Apparently is the answer to everything. You know what? That's minigun. Okay, well, tank pull in order to get Grell up to here. Thank you. And then it's just time to kill that bio guy. Okay, we're burning. Uh, can't really attack anyone, that is not good.
One, two, three. Okay, well, hmm. Let's maybe do the following. Might as well take cereal. One. Free reload. Two. Still standing strong. And three. Um, go for the captain. All right, needed a short break, so let's see. Still got Nikolai, uh, I guess be okay. the answer to everything. Done a very good job so far. Continues to do a very good job. A uh, decent chance to kill. Yep, but also a decent chance to not yet fully kill. Well, it is what it is. But needs to finish this disaster and then just parries. Moving out. Menace one five, you're near the target position. The patrol is upwind. Okay, well we know there's a patrol in there. And this could shake it up a bit. Every single one of them is uh, suffering from technical analysis. So currently they can't even see someone, which means we're just going to move back. Good enough. Oh boy, gateway. Unfortunate, very unfortunate. Didn't want to take any damage, but yeah, sometimes Things are just not playing out as you want uh, them to play out. I think we could uh, put cannon here onto an aid protocol. And then since so many people have taken damage, let's do a restoration. Not sure why exactly we didn't parry that attack, but okay.
Um, what do we want to do? We could definitely move up and try give, getting everyone down. While we're doing that though, let's remove the shields of all of them. Moving up with Euler. And those rockets deal 5 to 9. And his normal black flame grenade deals also some damage. But I want to see it in action. So here we go. Huge radius. I like that. Disoriented, everybody is panicked on top of it. Okay, well, what a nice set of action actions. Um Could move to here. Could also simply move down to here. Rocket barrage will take three of you out. Magnetic minigun. Eight points of damage, also not bad, but I think we're sticking with that rocket barrage that deals with the shield bearer. It's almost a kill. Tell you what, uh, the main target is that uh, that viper. And I think Rupture is the right way of going about it. Nice little hit, crit, and it doesn't have any defense against Banish. So that should be a kill. Oh yeah, easy. Oh yeah, easy. That's a lot of damage. Now we fight in the open. Good. Uh, what else do we do? 14 hit points, I think, you know, what we're doing is, we're starting with this. 
some extra damage. Oh, and we don't have any actions left over. Well, that stinks. Time to kill the Algorith. Very nice. And whilst we're at it, um, let's go to the Bio Captain. Blade Storm, all right. Well, that triggers our Blade Storm. Nikolai just still is moving, like he has taken a couple of shots and he did that very well. Sonic Rippling, the grenade is really good, four points of damage, ginormous area. Disoriented, Rippling, yeah. Panic, movement speed reduction. What's over there? It's a lot to take in in one go. Let's move already. Burrell moves up. Ah, oh, we don't have shredding on her. That's a was a bit of wasted damage. Sonar moves up. Let's kill that gatekeeper. Good hit. Armor still holding. I must move quickly. Okay, I'll go. Nikolai moves up and hits one of those rocket guys. Chrysalid moves up and tries his best to slash, but that was not successful. In the meantime, Dilly is back. Takes the Icarus jump. Takes the kill. And deals with the remaining, like I said, oh, it's unbelievably, uh, unbelievable just how strong everyone is. Haven't even used the ghost. We've yet again killed the ruler when they were spawning. which has become the absolute standard with the A-Team nowadays. Unfortunately, it was not the Mech Ruler. Would have wanted to see him, but I think the campaign will not last long enough in order to make that happen. We'll take that friendly chrysalid with us on board as a souvenir. And I think it's fair to say that an Evac all solves the problems. Alright, it was not so much about the facility. We knew that we would be uh, able to crack it. But it was more about getting, the, getting to know the new toys. Which, mind you... I'm still a huge fan of the Mesian battlesuits, uh, the brain cord, 
not so much the two turns it, mm, are making it not feasible. I see where it's coming from, but it ends your turn and effectively the debuff is not strong enough to justify th that level of resource investments plus everything else. So would it last for longer than two rounds, like permanent debuff? Then I think it would be a fair item for the amount of things that you need to go through. But it is unfortunately not. Good, well, now Lightly Wounded for five days, Hogbite needs to secure that out, and then we can increase his bond level. Avenger Bit more loot. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress. Good. Really, not much is changing here. Commander, I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Word is we've got a new trick or two. Destroy the cultist space. I think try. that would be a good one. I think that would be a good one. That's not bad either because we would free up one resistance order. That's not bad either for Hogbite, but a little bit later. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this here. The last faction that needs some ass kicking. Good. Items okay. 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 And okay. Let's confirm that. And the Cult of Jericho is finally being targeted. Low profile. <laughs> Oh wow, low profile, very difficult, protect the device mission. And I've just sent all of my troops uh, there. Guys, I'm not sure if I could do that. I mean, that's sergeant's advanced Bur uh, purge bishop, mutant commander. Yeah. Wow. I like the extra ranger that we could be getting here. Destroy the alien relay. I think we're going to do that. Uh, Fatal Creator will not come through immediately, but having an extra um, an extra ranger as a colonel will be the right call. I'll set everything up uh, for that mission. What are the next steps that we need to do? Look. We have Avatar, uh, the Avatar research, and then we're theoretically ready to do Water World. Cool. Need to build a couple more items, but that is not a problem. Need to upgrade the Bond to level 2 uh, with uh, Hogbite and his friend. That is a matter of like 3 days and then maybe 6 days or whatnot. Um, Hogbite, yeah, it's almost ready and then we're, we're good to go. We won't get it to level three but uh that's not a big that's really not a big deal we have nothing more to research i think it's really just building that stuff and then we're uh, good to go so it will be covert ops in all likelihood afterwards wrecking the raider uh, raiders with uh, which is the last faction that we want to get out of the ring and 
then it is time for Water World. And I hope that you are as watery excited as I am, because that will mark a huge milestone in this campaign. I wouldn't have guessed that we make it that far. But as always, you never should underestimate just the compounding effect of all of the buffs, uh, research, weapons, yada 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 that you get in XCOM Endgame. We are strong, holy shit. The uh, Prime team is potentially one of the strongest teams that I've ever run, like as a six-man squad. Uh, they are they are really, really, really strong. Okay, but we're going to see about that in when, when Waterworld comes around. Uh, we are going to have two or three more entertaining missions and then it's off to the final uh, lap to see whether or not we can actually go through a completely infested highly upgraded water world. Thanks for watching guys and have a good one. Bye bye.